I knew it. <laughs> Pearl! <laughs> That's the first time hearing her, her voice in this game. <laughs> what it sound like? I don't know how to describe it. Um, I mean, her voice still sounds a little high pitched, but at the same time, it's also close to a woman's voice as well. I mean, that makes sense. I mean, some women's voices are high pitched. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> hey, it's it's pearls. Oh, Mr. Nick, I haven't seen you in ages. Um, Could there be a small fry Mr. Ryan was talking about? Oh, so I I'm was right. Say, I'm, I'm just. Hmm? I was right. Apparently, small fry was pearl. Yeah, I'm just gonna stick with that voice for her because that's what I did before. Congratulations on your return to lawyering! I've been thinking about stopping by your office to, for a visit to congratulate you! This is Pearl Fay. I call her Pearl, so she may dress a little funny. <laughs> that's because she's a spirit medium. A real prodigy with great power at that. I've known her since she was little, and she sometimes comes to the office to visit. She's just a little older than Trucy, so she's been like a big sister to her. She's a little older than Trucy, huh? Uh huh. I guess everyone here knows Mr. Nick then! He's a really nice guy, don't you think? Is she trying to be my big sister too now? <laughs> I can't guess we'll talk. Pearl Faye. What are you doing here, Pearls? My summer camp is here on a field trip! I've never been to such a big aquarium before, so this- so I was really looking forward to this! But then that incident happened and the police just finished questioning me. Oh, I see. Um, Mr. Nick, who is that lady next to you? Sykes. I'm the new lawyer at the Right Anything Agency! Oh, how do you do? My name is Pearl Fang! I was like comparing their size, and Athena still does seem to be taller than Pearl. Yeah, a little bit. I mean, that happens sometimes. You know? Yes, so. Heck, I think, I'm, I think I'm almost a foot taller than, you know, John. Alright. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Wait, did I get that correct? Hmm? Uh, I hope I'm right, but I might be getting it mixed up with someone else. I'm not sure. I don't know. <laughs> okay. My cousin and my friends call me Pearly. My cousin, in other words, Maya. Pearly it is then. Nice to meet you. So, how did two of you meet? Well, you know how I used to travel to Europe to study their legal system, Pearls? I met Athena on one of those trips. Oh, meaning Athena. So, tell me more about how the two of you met in Europe. Yeah, I'm not supposed to be asking the questions here. A long time ago, Mr. Wright helped me out with a out of a difficult jam. That's when I started thinking about becoming a lawyer like him. So you're like her mentor, huh, Mr. Nick? Yeah, something like that, I guess. Mr. Wright is the whole reason I am who I am today. He was the only one who told- he was the one who told me my knowledge of psychology could help people in court. Mr. Nick, it sounds like you've become a real adult since the last time I saw you. I've only been an adult the entire time I've known you, Pearls. <laughs> Is that supposed to be a compliment or an insult? I don't even know. <laughs> <laughs> well, would you look at that! Rifle loves you! She sure does seem to be attracted to Pearls. I'm so 
glad she likes me. Penguins are so adorable, aren't they? I even bought myself a little penguin calendar here at the aquarium gift shop. I have it hanging here from my bag already. I don't see you holding a bag, but okay. Oh, how cute! A calendar in the shape of a penguin! That calendar is, is a real hit with all our female visitors! I even have one myself! But the rest of the staff thinks it's too cutesy. I guess it doesn't really fit the whole rough and tum tumble pirate image very well. <clears throat> Why does the tender smell kind of like fish? What do you mean, Mr. Nick? Please don't be rude! Uh oh, we got pros mad. Calendar? I guess we're gonna talk about rifle again. <laughs> so you were looking for Rifle 2, huh? That's right! I was trying to help Mr. Merlon, the Animal Keeper! Come here, Rifle! Come on! <laughs> she went to Lord Orla instead. Gah! Why can't I get Rifle to like me?! Maybe you should quit chasing after her with that scowl of yours. Mr. Nick, how could you speak to a lady so rudely? No. Uh -oh. I got pros mad. Again. Why don't you try to get Rifle to take some food from you? Oh, great idea. I have just the thing to offer her, too. It's gonna be something stupid, isn't it? Oh. Wait, am I supposed to present oh. it? Oh my- Oh, fish! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the fish. <laughs> I guess I'll present it then, even though the pearl's in front of me. Rifle, I have a present for you! It's chock filled with love! Here you go! <laughs> oh, oh my <laughs> god! <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> Orla ate it instead. Oh, I ate my love-filled fish! At least it looks like she enjoyed it, though. <laughs> <laughs> I think Orla and I just had a bonding moment. Blossoming with the exchange of some food. Oh, isn't it moving, Mr. Nick? I think moving might be going a bit far. Anyway, how did you get Rifle to come to you so easily, Pearls? I heard Rifle to try to smell a fish. M Mr. Nick, uh, are you saying I smell like fish? Uh, maybe just a little, yes. Mm, I guess I need to change my clothes. How long have you worn that acolyte? <laughs> Even, like, you know, clothes anyways. <laughs> That's odd. I wonder why Pearl smells like, she smells like she's holding a bucket of fish. Hmm. Oral doesn't usually want to eat this time of day. And we've been giving her more food than normal at her regular meal times lately. Orla's eating. Is there something wrong with Orla's feeding habits lately? Yeah, something's weird. The new guy, Marlin, feeds all of the other animals besides Orla. Hmm? But the captain and I, her trainer, are responsible for feeling, feeding Orla. I was the cap- it, it was the captain's turn to feed Orla this morning. But Orla keeps coming to me and signaling she's still hungry. She, she wants my fish! Char 
chock filled with blood. How long are you going to keep saying that? She sure decided to make a new friend. I don't think the captain would have forgotten to feed Orla. Or on the rifle. Rifle and that big creature were s s certainly seem to love each other. This is Orla the Orcra. Rifle and Orla are best friends. They belong together like clownfish and and sea and the See an anemone. What? Anemone. Care to phrase that in a way us non biology majors can understand? Oh! So, this Orca is the suspect? I, I read in a book once that Orcas eat penguins. Don't you worry about that. Orla here is really gentle, and she never eats anything but fish. What was that about? I don't know what happened. She's an old sweetheart, as a matter of fact. She even tolerates rifle picking on her. Okay, then. It's true, she does seem very gentle. She probably seemed like a killer whale. As lawyers, we have every we have to do everything we can to save this beautiful, gentle creature! Wow, you're, you're gonna defend her in court? She's quite the defendant, isn't she? She's the biggest defendant we've ever had. Literally. <laughs> oh, Pearls, I have a big favor to ask. What is it, Mr. Nick? It's about my Magatama. Its spiritual power seems to have vanished. Oh, the Magatama brings back memories! I remember pouring my spiritual powers into it! That was many years ago. I guess that's why it's almost out now. There we go. <laughs> there we go, Mr. Nick. It should be fine now. Thank you, Pearl. Now I can break Cyclops again. <laughs> I'm so glad I can help. Well, I think I'm gonna go find Mr. Marla now. I have to bring rifle to him. <clears throat> Hurley sure seems right at home with us at this aquarium. Hmm, you're right. But didn't she didn't she say this was her first time here? Apparently, that girl was in the stuff in the staff corridor or earlier this morning. Was that the staff what? Corridor? Why? That's why the detective was questioning her. What was Pearl doing in the staff corridor? I don't know. I thought she was Marla's friend or something. The staff corridor, huh? Something about that doesn't sit well with me. Oh, okay. Your relation Pearl's apparently into the staff corridor. Pearl Bear. Pearl better not become a suspect. <laughs> no, Later I on. I hope not. <laughs> well, if it bothers you, why don't you just ask her about it? Yeah, good idea. Let's go catch up with her. Okay. Looks like Mr. Rams and Pearls are talking. Faith owns me small fry with some clutch with assist. Round and rifle reunion, a tail ended in bliss. Now Anne will keep her round, ain't gonna get cut. Mad prop, small fry, this case is now shut. Yo, 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 ho, ho. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> it was my pleasure. See you again sometime, rifle. <clears throat> All right, okay, let's go, Rifle. See you, small fry. Oh, oh, Miss 
Officer Nick, I, I, I didn't see you there. Anyways, relation to rhymes. Hey, Pearly, you and Mr. Rhymes seem to be really good friends. Could you tell us more about your relationship? Uh, well, I... Oh, are you serious? Are you serious? After you give me your spiritual power back, you're the first one I have to use this on? <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my god. Um, Pearls, why do I see a Psycloc? Um, I'm sorry, Mr. Nick. But I really shouldn't talk about it. Hmm. I don't really feel right about digging into Pearl's affairs. But she was here at the aquarium at the time of the incident. Whatever she's hiding could help us in court. Sorry, Pearls, but I'll have to use my Magatama on you. Oh well. Take that! Take that! Well, it's just one lock, so... <coughs> a psych lock. A lock on a person's heart that only I can see. The deeper the secrets in, the more locks there will be. Pearls only has one lock, so I should be able to undo it fairly easily. But if I make a mistake, I'll be locked in a loop and won't be able to move forward. Does that mean I instantly restart if I, if I mistake one? Hmm. hmm. Okay, time to give it a try. Relation to um, rhymes. Hmm? Do you remember um, during the Athena case, there was five black Cyclops? Yeah. That was crazy. I know. <laughs> <clears throat> but that was something that that was about that blacker ones that they don't know themselves, basically. Yeah, red ones just pretty much mm. pretty much mean they're intentionally hiding something. But black means they're unintentionally hi unintentionally hiding something that they don't know about. Yep. Basically. So yeah. <clears throat> Pearls, you have to tell me about your relationship with Mr. Rhymes. Relationship? There is no relationship between Mr. Marlin and me. We're we're just a visitor to the aquarium and an animal keeper at the aquarium. That's all. There are areas where ordinary visitors to the aquarium don't go to go to. You were here before the incident occurred, weren't you? Yeah, the staff corridor. We just discussed that. Yeah, the staff there. corridor. Just take that. <laughs> take that! Yes, that's right! But how did you know? Someone told me you were there. I got confused, and I went the wrong way. <laughs> You're going the wrong way. Oh my gosh. That's probably, that's probably what what they told her. You're going the wrong way. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <clears throat> I didn't know it was a corridor just for the staff. But that's all it was, Mr. Nick. I didn't go... I didn't have anything to do with Miss Miss Marlin. Sounds round sounds reasonable. I guess I better move on to my next topic. Actually, there's something else I've been wondering about, Pearls. Why do you smell like fish? Fish? What makes you think I smell like fish? Well, there's a certain someone who convinced me it wasn't my imagination. Who? Wait, Marlin? Marlin or Sasha? No, Sasha, isn't it? Hold on. Rifle is in here too. Rifle? No, no not herself. <laughs> Actually, we're supposed to. Or some. Oh, there's certain someone who would give it to me. It wasn't my imagination. Actually, I think it would make sense if it was rifle because she's attracted to smell of fish. <laughs> Maybe. And she didn't go away from pearls. Mm-hmm. I guess we'll try- That makes sense to me. Okay, I guess we'll try and rifle. Take, Take that! that! Rifle? She's apparently very trying to smell a fish. Rifle didn't want anything to do with Athena, even though she had a bunch of fish. 
So why then was Rifle so attracted to you, Pearls? Uh, I don't know. Because you smell like fish, that's literally what it is. <laughs> hmm. Let's well, see she's still not ready to talk about it. You got an object with you that smelled fishy too. In fact, I think it's had something to do with your little secret. Was it the calendar? That's literally the only one she gave to us. Yeah, I I think it's the calendar. Okay, take, take that. that. Fishy smelly can't smell smelly smelly cal calendar has something to do with your secret, doesn't it, Pearl? Mr. Nick. I'll tell you about me, Mr. Mala, and, and about the calendar. Bang. It took three things to present for, for one lock. <laughs> Whew, it was only one lock, but it sure took some work. Okay, there we go. Can you tell me about your relationship with Mr. Rhymes? I became distracted by the gift shop almost as soon as we got to the aquarium. Before I knew it, everyone else had moved on and I got lost. I was so embarrassed to be last at my age. To be lost at my age. Oh, girls, I know big crowded, crowded places are hard for you. I sort of panicked and went down the wrong corridor. I ended up in the food prep room, and that's where I met Mr. Marlon. I really startled him when I called out to him. He jumped so much he startled me too, and I lost my balance and fell down. Oh. Oh, Mr. Nick, I spilled so many fish all over the floor. I guess that explains why you smell fishy. Pardon the pun. My god. <laughs> There's so many puns this episode. Yes, and my calendar fell off the bag and I and it got buried in all the fish too. It doesn't explain like why Pearls wanted to keep it secret. Why did you hide it? So why'd you hide it? Why did you want to hide your meeting with Mr. Rhymes? Well, uh, I, I didn't want him to get in trouble over feed sanitation regulations because of me. And Mr. Marlon said he didn't want anyone to know he was in the food prep room. Huh? Why not? What was he doing in there? Before I spoke to him, he was staring at a calendar. But because of me, he dropped his calendar too. We had to search shit all along the fish. Wait a minute. This calendar of yours, it already has writing on it. It does? But I didn't write anything in it yet. There's something written... There's something written here under today's da date. Meet the captain at the Orca Pool at 7 a.m. Maybe my calendar and Mr. Marlon's got mixed up. Pearls, about what time did you run into Mr. Rhymes? I think it was about 10.15 when he had the info desk announce that I was lost. So, I must have gotten first gone into the prep room at about 10.10. 10.10 10. 10 is, is, 10, 10 is about the crime, so I guess Pearl and Marlon have an alibi. Yeah, they were not there at the time of the murder. Or the the kill. We don't know if it's a murder yet. Yeah, it hasn't, it hasn't been a, it hasn't been a sign of a homicide, but yeah. Okay, so they weren't there at the time of the death. We put it that way. Yeah. Well, I mean, I guess they were there, just not at the scene, at least. Yeah. I see. Do you mind if I hang on to this calendar for a while? They were not in the right room, basically. They were in, in they were in a different room. Be a clue to make them move before he was killed. Oh, sorry. <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> the screen blurred. I thought it, I thought it said Phoenix for a sec. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> All right. Be sure to give it back to Mr. Marlin later, okay? What about? I forgot the car. Maybe I'm ready to remove this this deplume cycle. Oh my god. So I'm gonna have to move there now. <laughs> Yay, the voice again. <laughs> there she is. <laughs> You people again? You're becoming quite a nuisance. If that veterinarian will come out, then I might just have to give up and leave. Veterinarian? Is that the Dr. Crab Mr. Rhymes was talking about? You are correct. He'd like to shut himself up in that back room there and won't come out. I don't think he's even in there today, so I'm about ready to go home. She sure seems to know a lot about the working of this aquarium. Maybe a little something about the incident this morning, too. This is right! This is no time to be standing here thinking to yourself! It's time to put your psychletic clock skills to work and uncover her secret! That's psych luck, Athena. Psych luck. There we go. Take, Take that! that. <laughs> this time it's two locks. <laughs> Why are you here? Mm -hmm. Miss Deplume, I want you to tell me the secret you're hiding. I'll do nothing of the sort. I wouldn't mean breaking my promise. I don't know who you made this promise to, but you will tell me. You're not an Aquarium employee, and yet here you are after the place is closed. That must mean you're connected to the incidents involving the owner somehow. Oh ho ho! I don't know anything about any incident involving this owner. <laughs> no, I think you do. Oh, I wonder how this will sound like when I this. Because we have evidence. I have a piece of evidence here that suggests you do know something. Hmm. Actually, actually what is it? No, that's an ad. Fold of the body, no. Work a pull diagram. It's just a thing. It's, no. <laughs> I don't think she I don't think she has this. No. No, not the no. Walking fish. <laughs> not the fish. <laughs> Wait, this is the security footage. Wait, there she is! Oh, wait, that's someone down there. Yeah, that's gotta be her. That looks like her. Alright, then it's gotta be this one. That, that, that has Take to be Take that! Us. Hold on a second. There we go. Okay. According to Detective Fulbright, this shows the orca attacking the victim. And a person in this footage is wearing an outfit just like yours, Misty Plume. Oh, I suppose there is no hiding this bombshell figure, is there? Yes, it is I. Okay, well, Jeez, that was easy. That was easy. And I think I can guess why you're here at the aquarium. You aren't simply visited the aquarium. What you really are is a police investigator, witness to the murder. A witness to the murder. She literally looks yeah. at her in this camera. Oh yeah. my God! Wait, she's a witness, and that means I gotta cross-examine her. Oh my God! <laughs> All right, witness to the murder. <laughs> You're a visitor who also, who also happened to witness the death of owner Jack Shipley. That is cr Oh, I want to say it, but I promise the police. It's not good for you to keep things inside, you know. I'm sure you'll feel much better once you get it all out. I, I, I give up. I'll tell you everything. <laughs> <laughs> Well, we did it. We did it. This did took it. this took two for two cyclops, but it took three for pearls one cyclops. That was the easiest cyclops I've ever seen. I know. If she wanted to tell me this badly, why couldn't she have just done this from the top? Oh my god. I think 
think anyone would agree that I held it in for as long as I could. I couldn't be expected to withstand this commoner's badgering any longer. <laughs> Please calm yourself, Miss Plume, and that's top class badgering to you. You are correct. I went to the killer whale's crime with my own eyes. You got a problem with that, blue boy? Boss, Mr. Plume's anger is so powerful! Even I feel like I'm about to explode! You gotta do something quick! Please don't explode on me. <clears throat> that kind of sounds wrong. <laughs> While you're here. <laughs> Can you start with telling me what you saw? I went into the gray mode of the killer whale attacked the victim. I told the police what I saw as well. I'm the sort of person who simply can't rest until the truth is known. Support Miss Plume's statement at the footage point to Orla's guilt. Hmm? Pardon me, but you seem pretty pleased that you witnessed this incident. What? Please? Shame on you. Are you implying that I'm happy about an innocent man's death? No, uh, of course not. I, uh, I, I just don't get the sense that you are afraid of Orla. It's more like you were interested in her. Are you? You know, I wasn't sure. I was thinking of that, maybe. Are you perhaps one of my fans? Is that how you knew? That I am a non-fiction writer, Norma Plume? Oh, uh, that Norma Plume? So, big fan, huh? No! I've never heard of her! Well, now that you figured me out, there's no sense in trying to hide who I am, I suppose. How is the fan is part of writing duty, after all? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> But I'm not a fan, I tell you! Exactly how we written Misty Plum 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 Chief Plum Chief. Oh my! You mean to say you truly aren't familiar with my work? I'm right the truth. I take great pride in my craft, you know. I've been gathering information on Orla the Killer Whale for a year now. I've been very worried about Orla's violent tendencies. And today, my concern was proven to be well justified. Orlas isn't violent! She's a sweet and gentle soul! Oh ho ho! The moment you let your guard down with that killer whale. Chomp! <laughs> Ship Shape Aquarium had always, had always denied the killer whale's violent streak. Why have been rumored to attack people? But, but rumors are just rumors! They aren't necessarily true! Yes, I realize that, but only but I only write the truth. That is why I question the owner directly. But he refused to allow my research, and he even had the audacity to say to me, "You're nothing but a nuisance coming here day after day. Don't ever come back again." So I wish your research was a bit too much to take. But then, how did you get in here if you weren't if you were been blacklisted? My message? Oh ho ho! This lady is shameless. <laughs> this investigation is going quite a while. Or <laughs> well, let's find this street. We won't let you speak badly of Orla! We're going to defend her! I'm only saying what I saw with my very own eyes. I can't get a coin today to observe the killer whale. While my way to th that thing's tank, I heard its cries. You can hear Orla from the visitor corridor? There are speakers there in the corridor, up near the ceiling. Apparently, that speaker is there so visitors can hear the killer whale's sounds. 
In any case, I left the killer whale tank. I heard his cries. When I arrived, I saw something terrifying. <clears throat> what did you see? The killer whale stealing the swamp buckler's spectacular hat the owner was wearing. And then, the moment it bit him and shook him mer mercilessly, the death went to jump within the jaw. What? Orla bit the owner to death? <laughs> it just says we trust, so I take it Miss e. Plumes just finished telling you what she saw? Thank you full, right? I guess you've already heard it too, huh? Yup, when we took her statement earlier, I do her, I'm afraid that accidental death is really the only thing it could be. Yes, and a major creature like that cannot be allowed to harm anyone ever again. But she's not dangerous. Sorry, but the prosecutor's office said the case and didn't have enough mirror to go to trial. There was, there was one prosecutor, though, who, ex who expressed an interest in the case. Really? Could we have that prosecutor take a look at the investigative reports? Unfortunately, I doubt even he'd take action without evidence of a homicide. Look, I understand how you feel, Mr. Lawyer, but maybe you should give up on this one. Not a chance. We'll just re-examine the crime scene and, and strengthen our case. Well, if that's your brother of justice, I won't stop you. We will not rest until we find proof it wasn't an accidental t death, Detective. You'll see, Phantom. <laughs> Let's go, Mr. Wright. Time to check out the crime scene one more time. Oh boy. <sighs> Alright then. Let's start re examining. We start the. The death. Let's start the re examination <laughs> pronto. I just realized how funny that sounded. The <laughs> <laughs> death. The <laughs> death. <laughs> I'm gonna go check out that mess in the back one more time. Athena, wait, no running. <laughs> what just? Are you okay? It didn't look like you tripped, but. What are you. <laughs> okay. Mm, I, I slipped. Huh? Huh? Hola, what is it, girl? Whoa. Oh, what the? Ah! Dina, are you alright? She crashes into all that stuff behind her. Pretty amazing wipeout. Are you hurt? I, I, I'm okay, but why did Orla spike that ball at me? After all the fish I gave to her, I thought she liked me. Maybe she thought you were the main entry? <laughs> Very funny, boss! <laughs> In any case, let's give the ball back to Orla. Maybe it has something to do with that. Okay, well... Huh? Looks like everything got shifted around when I fell on it. Maybe maybe stepping on that circle pad made Orla do that? I, yeah, I think so. Here, yeah, right. There are things now that we couldn't see before. Like another ball. I guess Orla really likes them. Look! There's something new by the outline of the body, too! Let me take a good look around. Check there, please. What is this? Is that a dummy? Oh no, that child is hurt! <laughs> what? Call an ambulance? Hey, it's just a dummy. <laughs> it is? Oh, I, I mean, 
mean, of course it is. Uh, I, I was just testing your response to an emergency. Sure. Sure you were. <laughs> well, I guess we just found out that you don't bluff well under pressure. <laughs> I guess I'll just have to keep practicing then. I wonder what the dummy is for anyway. Where did you come from? Oh, that! We use in the train aura! It's smaller than a human, but it does the job! Some of our tricks can be pretty dangerous, so Orla practices them on the dummy first! Look at the tricks. The wet mark looks pretty dangerous. Look at this mark on the floor! What do you suppose it is? That's where we stand when we want to play volleyball with Orna! I knew it. That's yeah, that sense. Volleyball, huh? Yeah, if we stand there, she'll spike the ball right at us! So when Orla spiked the ball at me earlier... That was one of her tricks?! It doesn't mean she hates me?! Nah! She just wanted to play with you! <laughs> nah. <laughs> she loves volleyball! She used to play with the captain all the time! Aww... Sasha looks so sad! Okay, time to snap out of it! This is no time to be all... Dejected and mopey like a blabfish! That's right! Time to put on a smile and stay strong, right? It's a blabfish. What do I not want to know? <laughs> What's this, anyways? Eh. What's this? A coin? Mr. Wright! There's blood on it! This coin? What? You're right, but it's dried. Might be a key point. Do you think it could be the victims? And what was it doing all the way over there in the first place? I'm not sure, but now that we've found blood outside the pool, it just might help us prove that there's more to this case that's just accidental, than just accidental death. Hey, you're right! Orla certainly can't leave the pool after all! What stained coin? Speaking of coins, take a look at this. There are a few coins around the body here, too. You're right, boss, but where'd they all go? They're not there anymore. You don't like somebody picked them up, do you? Hey, Sasha, would you happen to know anything about this coin? Oh, uh, I, I guess I missed one. I just finished cleaning up the rest of them. You picked up all the coins already? That's right. After the police finished their investigation, they gave me the go-ahead. I haven't found them all yet, though. I'm still missing a few. Well, if they aren't beside the pool, then maybe they hit, maybe they're in the pool. Let's go to that ladder over there and take a peek at the bottom of the pool, boss. With your clothes on? Oh wait, I don't think. Okay, never mind. I don't think she means actually swim in them. I don't think she actually means swim in it. We'll just go to the. Oh gosh. Uh oh. Yeah, that's sure are a lot of coins down there. Wow, that's cool. Look, I think I see something on the bottom of the pool. <laughs> I knew it! Want me to go down there and check? <laughs> okay, never mind. You did actually mean swim in the pool. You can't jump you can't jump you can't jump in dress like that. Go drown under the weight of your clothes. No, I won't! I'm a pretty good swimmer, you know! 
Be that as it may, that pool's really deep. I doubt we can hold your breath that long. Maybe Sasha can? Just right on your orca, I guess. Phoenix, look at all these coins I found at the bottom! Thanks, Sasha. So there really were more of them down there, huh? We seem to be finding them all over. I wonder how many there are altogether. Including the ones I put away, there are 300 of them. They're for the show. That said 300, right? Yeah. Cool. Hmm. Sound like they'd be heavy. I, I wasn't sure if it said 300 or 500. <laughs> <laughs> Seven pounds, I say. A little higher than a string fish. Well, I better go put these coins away where they belong. So, seven pounds of coins scattered around the scene. One of them with blood on it. They have to be related to the case. I wonder how the blood got on that one coin? Wait a minute. Could it be... Remember how the Tensive Fulbright said that they couldn't find a murder weapon? Well, what if these coins were the weapon? Huh? How could a little co coin kill a grown man? I mean, I guess when a coin falls down like very high places, could it count as one? Hmm. Seems a little illogical. Cause I mean, I think, I think someone told me that like, Someone told me that, you know, dropping down a coin could even kill a person, like, if it dropped on top of them. But it's, well, actually, it's the same, actually, actually, no, at the same time that we're actually inside, not outside. So, I, I don't know, we'll just see what happens. Well, one coin by itself isn't much of a threat, but... If you have coin together, would could, could definitely be used as a weapon. All you have to do is freeze them, put them in a bag, throw them. I doubt Frieza would change anything. <laughs> Put them in a bag? Or throw them? Uh, well, freeze them kind of does... Wait. Okay, I'm just trying to think about this logically. What if the coin was partially wet? Because it was, you, you know, they use it during the show. What if it was wet? And it got frozen, so there was a little bit of ice around it. I think that would make the coin harder. Hmm. I don't know, what do you think? I mean, the coin is already hard itself, so I don't know if reading it will still make any difference. I mean, I th it would make it a little bit harder, but yeah, I suppose. Put them in a bag or throw them? Well, then again, throwing them depends well, on how high you are, put but you're put, inside. Yeah, but put them in the bag. Like, why would only one coin have blood on it? And two, if that was the only coin in the bag, how would that kill someone? It did say that 300 coins are meant to be 7 pounds, so a, so a full a full pack of them could kill as a blunt weapon. Mm, but why would only... Well, like I said, why would only one of them have blood on it? No idea, unless they only just attack one spot of the... Attack one spot of them. Actually, hold on, what, did, did we get any autopsy report? No, we didn't. Never mind. I'm not sure. It's either the second or third one. Throwing them could maybe. Or no. I don't know. I or mean, wait, 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 wait. Wait, which one says freeze them? The first one. Oh, sorry, the first and second one, not the third one. The third one throw them. It's the second one put yeah, them that... in the bag. Actually, it could. It could be all three of them. <laughs> I'm just gonna start with it, put them in the bag first, and then then uh, I don't think we'll get any. Uh, obviously, we won't get penalty for this. We're just gonna keep guessing anyway. No, I was gonna say, should we just go down the list? <laughs> I'll just start with put them in the bag. Okay. You're probably right. If you put seven pounds of coins in a bag and swung in at somebody, it would make a pretty formidable blunt instrument, wouldn't it? You explain how blood got on this coin. I guess it was right. Okay, I guess it Well, s screw my logic. You're, s you're you're smarter than me. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, f I mean, then again, like, freaking them, it does make it a little hard, but I don't know if it'll make that much of a difference. Yeah. 
I I just realized I just I I, I for I. The thing is, I forgot they weigh seven pounds. That's why I was thinking of that, but now I realize that's stupid. <laughs> Sorry. That's <laughs> fine. It's fine. Okay. Oh my god! If that bag of coins is the weapon, then we can use it to prove Orla's innocence. No, sh no shoot. No crap. <laughs> <laughs> I guess this bloodstained blood blood coin could bear decisive evidence. I don't see anything resembling a coin bag around here. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Maybe the killer took it with them. I, I hit the wrong one. That's fine. Yeah, well, certainly. Good thing, I didn't, good, thing, good thing I didn't do this again. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, well, certainly make it look like Orla did it if they did. If they did. You know what I think, Mr. Wright? The bloody coin alone would be enough to prove this might be a murder. I agree. It shows the possibility of a human killer rather than an Orla. Yes, this is just what we needed. <laughs> Let's go show this coin to Detective Fulbright and Mr. Plume right away. Now we're going back to them. Good idea. Let's hope they're still at the pub of danger. Oh, boy. <laughs> Oh, you're back. So did you find anything? Oh my god. Of course he didn't. Rude. Remember, you would feel the seed. It's effort you make that's important. He's trying to console me. Let's show the evidence we found. The one that points to the human culprit. Right, because we won't let Orla be put down. For a second, I, for a second, I almost pretended my turn is bad because the this one's also gold. <laughs> that would have been funny. <laughs> anyway, let's think. Please take a look at this bloodstained coin. Hey, seize and assist at once. What kind of man shows the lady blood? <laughs> <laughs> to get so worked up. What are you two ready to leave with? Come on now, let's see it. We found this coin beside the Orca pool. We did see a large number of coins beside the pool, but not one with blood on it. We just learned that there are 300 of these weighing about 7 pounds altogether. Now, what do you suppose would happen if a person was assaulted with that many coins? What? So you're saying the coin might have been used like some kind of blunt weapon? If the blood belongs to the victim, then yes, it's entirely possible. I wouldn't call it the site to proof that the co real cobra was human. You wouldn't? Why not? Because there has to be something to put the coins in to make them into a weapon. Without that something, it's just not going to be enough to pass, pass muster. Well, I will say that your theory does seem to warrant further investigation. I'll call the prosecutor's office and ask to reinvestigate from a possible criminal angle. You will. Thank you very much. Just the fact that this guy is the f just the fact this guy's the phantom and he's been helping us the whole time, like <laughs> How is he still able to control his emotions like this too? I don't know. I really hope the phantom can convince them! <laughs> I had to say that. <laughs> I am not calling him Detective Fulbright. I'm sorry. <laughs> hmm. You won't believe the answer I got. When I explained your passion for this case and the police investigation, they said that the prosecutor I mentioned earlier would be willing to take this to court. Really? Does that mean a new suspect has emerged? No, I'm afraid not. To be frank, Prosecutor Black will say he just wants to prove that orc is killed in court. What? It's Prosecutor Blackwell that wants to prosecute Orla? That's fine, Detective. Thanks for arranging this for us. Well, I must say you're taking this rather calmly. Sending Orla in court was my idea from the start. And I'll do whatever it takes to save her. Hmm. In that case, I'll do whatever I can as well to see that justice is served. 
Missy Blue, will you be witness for the prosecution? Ah, for Kill Whale? I never heard of a such recklessness before in my life. Well, I don't really truth about the Kill, kill Whale. Then write all about it. Oh my gosh, she's definitely, she's definitely gonna be a witness tomorrow then. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> I can't wait. I can't wait to see John's reaction. <laughs> Oh man, let's, let's just goes. not tell. Let's just not say anything. Let's just, you know, you'll just do that voice. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> Sounds like a plan. Now, if you'll just come along with me, we have to prepare for tomorrow, and I still have to arrange for an autopsy. Oh, oh, oh. I look forward to tomorrow. I tell them, Blue Lawyer and Yellow Fan. I am not a fan! Well, at least we managed to get the case to get the trial. <sighs> but how in the world do we defend uh, an orca in court anyway? To be honest, I'm not really sure myself. Plus, Mr. Plume said Orlo bit the victim! This trial sure isn't gonna be easy. Since when was this trial ever easy? <laughs> but I love a challenge! <laughs> then we ought to be just fine. I guess I should go over and have to watch Butler's Spectacular you were watching this morning. Yeah! We can have a formal viewing back at the office! There's nothing to say to forget to order on the security tape, but that doesn't mean much. I'll just have to find a more concrete way to save Orla in tomorrow's trial, or else. Oh boy. <laughs> what an interesting case this is. A, a, free, a, a rapper, a, a, a defend, a, an orca defendant. Um, this this case this, is crazy. This, this lady. <laughs> this this case is crazy. <laughs> Oh man. Yep, it says trial. I wonder is, is it gonna is it gonna be Phoenix, Apollo, and Athena or just the two? Yeah, I don't know. It might be just the two. Apollo wasn't with us, so I assume he probably won't. Hmm. Hmm. Hey, well I'll just return the title. <laughs> okay, well that's a, that's something. <laughs> this is a crazy case. I know. But <laughs> I'm just saying, anytime someone mentions Detective Fulbright, I'm just I'm just gonna say Phantom instead. <laughs> okay then. <laughs> <laughs> I mean I'll still call him Fulbright personally, but that's fine. <laughs> <laughs> well, as a joke. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> yeah. Um This is probably this is definitely the one of the funniest Ace Attorney videos we've done so far. <laughs> there are a bunch of puns. This this voice. Yeah, you put that voice on and then that lady just that lady's appearance just pops up. It looks nothing like what she would sound like. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways guys, that is it for this for this episode. Or at least this part of the episode. Turnabout reclaimed. Yeah. <laughs> I guess. Stay, yes. Yeah, stay tuned for the next part of the trial. We'll most likely have John with us because he'll be taking over Blackwell. Yes. Yeah, with that being said, thank you again for joining me in this one, and we'll see you guys in the trial. <laughs> Peace. Peace.